what's in your bowl what do i mean by that let's take a simple example on the right hand side i have a large bowl on the left hand side i have a small bowl this is an analogy about you having a resource which is in more quantity and a resource which is in less quantity what is a resource at a high level we can say memory is a resource cpu is a resource network is a resource disk and io is a resource to understand how resource utilization happens let's take this two scenarios just because i have a lot of resources does it mean i can do more with it in comparison to a situation where i have a smaller resource well the question is what do i mean by do more let's take this situation i have a tennis ball and i have ping pong balls let us say i fill my large resource with tennis balls does it mean it is able to hold more tennis balls yes when i look at it from the small resource i can hold only one or two tennis balls at the maximum whereas i can hold seven or eight tennis balls on the right hand side but the question is do i want to hold tennis balls what if i wanted to hold only ping pong balls then in spite of having a large resource i am not doing what i wanted to do it is able to carry much more but that's not what i wanted to do if my small resource can hold four ping pong balls and my large resource is also holding only four ping pong balls then both are doing what i want just because i have a larger resource it does not mean i can do more reason being tennis balls are things that i don't want to do but i'm still keeping it there same way in a database cpu memory network io are all resources which have to be optimally used if you can use your resources optimally your system will perform well meet slas in spite of having lesser resources if i were to consider cpu as a resource if i do a lot of tasks which have no value addition in my application for example when you do excessive parsing why do we do excessive parsing in a database if you are using literal values if you used bind variables or prepared statements then you will not do unwanted task of parsing which means you save cpu time similarly when you land up using bind variables you save memory because if you use literal values every sql in spite of the fact that two sqls look the same for example select star from employees where employee id is equal to 100 and select star from employees where employee id equal to 200 from the look of it both look the same but as far as an oracle database is concerned they are two different sqls because the hash value of both the sqls are different for the simple reason the literal value 100 and 200 will result in two different hash values created on the other hand if i had used a prepared statement or a bind variable by putting where employee id equal to b1 then when i pass in a bind variable of 100 or 200 the sql still remains the same now imagine you have 100 such queries running with different different literal values this is going to result in a separate sql area created for each sql in the shared pool if you use literal values on the other hand if you used bind variables it would result in just one sql area an example where i have ensured i can use less resources and still deliver more thirdly if i am doing a full table scan i am reading a lot of blocks if i use an index based lookup and by doing so if i read lesser blocks then i am doing less io number 2 i am doing less network transfer from the storage into the database server and on the database server i am keeping less blocks in the memory very very trivial but go and look into your database go and look into how your application is accessing what is critical is not how big a resource you have 
but what are you doing with your resource? Try to cut down all unwanted tasks, unwanted things or write your code in an optimal manner so that you can do more with your given resource. You don't need to necessarily increase your resource. It is very, very important what is in your bowel.